Hey fam, what's up? It's Heaven, and we are back with the much awaited lipstick purge. Yes, I filmed this video a few times before, and yes, my children have stolen all the lipstick that I didn't want. Um, <laughs> but lucky me, I keep buying lipstick, and um, I've got more stuff that I need to get rid of. I know for sure, for sure, I've got to get rid of some stuff here. So, with that said, let's just jump right in it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I know off rip, um, there are a few things here that I know already I need to get rid of. Like, number one is this one. It is the NYX Liquid Suede. It's a good formula, but this color is, like, absolutely atrocious. Like, I'm never, ever going to wear this color ever, okay? At all, never know. So this is going to go. Um, next would be this Sephora um, Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Shine. Look at that. Do you see how stringy that is? I don't know if you saw that, but it's really, it's one of those sticky glosses that is just like ill, and then there's no color payoff really. So that's just an, an honestly a waste of my time. Like, I'm not even with it. Okay. Um, next. I don't even know what brand this is. I think I got it from the dollar store. It's supposed to be a liquid lipstick kind of deal, but it's just, it's not, it's not cute. It's already separating in the bottle. It's got like iridescent shimmer in it. It's not my thing, so it has to go. Um, for one of my Dollar Tree hauls, I got an LA Colors lipstick in uh, Dusty Rose. I don't mind LA color lipsticks. The problem that I have with this is that it's so shimmery. Like, do you see that reflection? Like, I don't want my lips to, I feel like my lips would wash out, you know, not even wash out, but they'll blind you when I take a picture. Don't have time for that, okay? Um, next is this Revlon Ultra HD in Gladiolus. This is just a red that is just, it's too orange. For my taste like that's definitely not a color that I would rock at all these lipsticks smell really good the formulas are really nice but the color is just not my thing at all okay um I got this in one of my boxy charms or something it's a little uh lip teeny kind of deal you know what I'm saying um I'm not overly mad at the color I'm mad at the packaging more than anything as you can see I can't even open this besides the package being hard to open another thing is is how do I put this on I'm not walking around with the lipstick brush all day so I'd have to swipe it on my finger and then put it on my lips and then it's dry when you put it on like it's not even like creamy I'm not feeling it that's got to go um, this is something that I got in my Sephora bags. I don't know what color this is called, but it was just way too pale for me. And it's not even like a lipstick. Like, it goes on like a gloss type deal. And if I wanted a gloss, I'd get a gloss. Like, for a lipstick, it was just too pink for me. So that's got to go. And the last one is... Um, this Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I mean, yes, it's Marc Jacobs. Yes, like, whatever. I don't like the way this feels on my lips. It's a very pretty color. I like the color a lot. And trust me, I tried. But for whatever reason, you know, it goes on creamy. But after a while, it just feels so dry on your lips. And it's just like... I just I wasn't with it so those off rip I knew I was getting rid of these two are by Mana um, got both both of these in a boxy charm okay um, the first one that I had gotten is this one this is in all of me this color and I liked it I rocked it for a while like I just thought it was the best thing in the world it's very um, purpley you know what I'm saying? It's got a lot of blue undertones with that pink. I thought it was the shit until I tried this one in Lucky. And then I fell in love. 
very similar in color the two of them um, but lucky is a little warmer for me and that's what I like but I like the both of them so I'm gonna keep the both of these I'm not gonna get rid of them I love the formula I love the way they feel on my lips I love the way you know the colors look like it's just amazing I love it this is the Maybelline vivid matte liquid lipstick this one is in the color nude flush okay it's not bad um, I'm not a big fan of the formula but I'm not gonna lie I do layer this with other stuff I do put a gloss on over it um, sometimes I'll put a cream on over it as well so this is definitely something that I know that I use on a regular basis I kind of leave this as my base so that once it dries it's just there it doesn't move and it stays in place and then I just gotta touch up my gloss after a while so that one's cool this one is our uh, wet and wild mega slicks lip gloss this is in wind and dined okay um it does tend to get a little sticky on the lips but this would be one of the colors that I would honestly put over this one and like mix them and just change the whole depth of both of the colors but that's me like I love mixing my lipsticks and my lip glosses and coming up with different colors different textures different whatever so I'm going to keep this um, <clears throat> this is the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder it's flash photo gloss uh, basically what this is supposed to do is you're supposed to put this over and as you can see I've, I've tried it you're supposed to put this over your regular lipstick and it's supposed to make it look better for um, pictures okay um, it's also because it's so iridescent it's it's called white flash because it's got that almost iridescent kind of look to it it's supposed to also brighten your teeth I'm guessing I don't know or brightens the appearance of the color of your teeth whatever I'm gonna keep it because I'm still playing with it so we'll see <clears throat> um, this is Elizabeth Mott color is Bay. it's a lip lacquer in red chili I actually liked this red because I just thought if I were gonna wear a red lipstick boom, that's gonna be what I wear like it is an in-your-face red I love it we're gonna keep that um, and this one is by Sephora it doesn't have a color on it I'm sure I, it, I'm sure it came on the box or in the box when I got the box or whatever but that's another um, deeper red and that's definitely something that I would do I don't like those fire engine red numbers not my thing next is this Ofra uh, long-lasting liquid lipstick I had a few of these in different colors that I wasn't too fond of and my kids took them but this one here I'm definitely interested in trying it's in the color uh, Napa Valley I don't know where I'll wear this all right I don't know and I know I was really upset when I got it like purple lipstick who the fuck is gonna wear purple lipstick but it's so I'm so intrigued by it that I think I'm gonna keep it just because I just I'll find some place to wear that too like come on three more that I know that I'm gonna keep is these three lip crayons from elf this in the color scarlet night berry sorbet and then this is tea rose these lip crayons oh my god you can totally wear them by themselves okay they go on smooth the colors are bold they don't budge much during the day um, every once in a while you may have to reapply depending on what all you do throughout the day but they they're typically there for the long haul okay I like to take and mix them with the elf moisturizing lipstick like this one's in sparkling rose I actually have a couple of more of these I don't know where the hell all my lipstick went I know my best friend has one in wine tour put on berry sorbet which is this middle color right here and then put wine tour right over it and it's perfect but this is another one like my elf lipsticks you can't tell me shit about them I've gotta have them 
I'm gonna keep them. Leave me alone, don't judge me. Not getting rid of them. Sorry, not sorry. This is Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. Now, let me tell you about this. These two are exactly the same color, okay? I have a third one in my purse. This is my go-to everyday lip gloss. This is like your lips, but better lip gloss, okay? You see there's not much color payout on it. But the formula is so comfortable. It's not sticky. This is my absolute all-time favorite lip gloss in the world. And every time they go on sale, and of course I have coupons, I buy them in bulk. So I've got these two on standby here. So of course I'm not getting rid of those. Um, <clears throat> this is another standby. This is Baby Lips by Maybelline. It's got sunscreen SPF 20. This one's empty. I keep it here just so that I can remind myself this is the one that I prefer. Um, it's clear. It has no color to it. But this is my go-to for a day at the beach. I have to have to have to have this. Make sure my lips do not get sunburnt. Okay. Uh, moving right along. Let's talk about these. Okay. I got these. If you saw my Dollar Tree haul, um, you'll see when I bought these a little while ago, maybe about a month or so ago. Now, they're a dollar. You're not really expecting much out of them. It is a pout gloss in matte. This one is in the color Let's Kiss. Look at how pretty that color is. You've got XOXO. Okay, Gossip Girl. No, <laughs> I love that show. Oh my God. So this is XOXO. Look at that's another one that is just such a pretty fucking color. I love it. And then you've got Kiss and Tell. Another one. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Here's the problem with these. The problem is, is number one, they do go on patchy. Okay, you don't see it much here, but they go on super patchy. Number two is, is when they dry, they legit start flaking off in chunks on your lips. The more you smile, the more you move your, your lips. Don't even attempt eating with this shit in your lips. It just starts flaking off. So these three, I have to, have to, have to get rid of. It's absolute garbage. I can't even know. Don't want to be bothered. These two also came from my last Dollar Tree haul, if I'm not mistaken. No, this was my... Was it Dollar Tree or my clearance haul? I don't remember. This one is in Black Orchid. That is such a pretty color. Oh! And then this one is in Blind Date. Oh my god. And I like both of them. The formula is really good for both of them. What I've done with these is I've taken my e.l.f. in Scarlet Night and put that down as my base. And then I've taken uh, Black Orchid and just gone right over it. And that way when the black orchid, because the, the wet and wild lipsticks do come off um, rather quickly, but the e.l.f. lipsticks stay in place. So I only have to touch up the black orchid every once in a while. And it also lightens the color just a little bit. I've got four more left. Ha ha ha. Let's see. This is Colormates. What the fuck is this? It's Colormates in Cinnamon. I like it. I'm not a super huge fan of the formula but it doesn't dry or crack or anything like that it's a pretty color but i think i'm gonna let it go because i do have an issue with the smell so we're just gonna get rid of that this is revlon ultra hd in primrose i've used the hell out of this lipstick oh that's such a pretty color i love it all of the revlon hd lipsticks smell really good almost like a mix of vanilla and berry kind of deal so i'm gonna keep this because that is such a nice color last two what is this uh tempt berry by cover girl this is another one that smells really good and the color of course is right up my alley with the reds that you see here so i'm gonna keep this one and then this is a tart uh, lip surgeon's lip cream. I got this in one of my beauty boxes that I used to get. Um, what I will say about this is that it does have a uh, peppermint smell to it. It's a cute color, so I'm gonna keep it. There you have it, folks. We are getting rid of three, six, nine, twelve lipsticks all together. We are keeping. We're keeping twenty. So I had thirty-two now. 
funny shit is is the last video I got rid of 25 and had 20 left and I don't know where the fuck all these lipsticks came from but um, <laughs> we're keeping 20 we're getting rid of 12 as I get more and you know start cycling through you know my lipsticks and trying different things we'll see what I'll get rid of next time um the next purge video that I do will definitely be once I get back from New Orleans so give me a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below and let me know if you want to see more purge videos I know it's not as heaven-esque as usually but <laughs> I think it's informative because if you're gonna spend as much money as I do on fucking lipstick you're gonna want to know like what's good and what's not you know what I'm saying but leave a comment down below if you guys don't want to see it I won't do it it is what it is it won't hurt my feelings we all good okay um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media I'm going to put it down here in the bottom of the screen keep me company during my day at, while I'm at work so that I don't go stir crazy and that's it I will catch you guys later bye Lexa hey! help I need somebody help not just anybody help, help. <laughs> I need someone help all right you can turn that off please and thank you